I want to bring the cast and crew up that's in this room that's involved in this movie, please. Come to the stage, we have Victoria Spencer Smith here, that they play Julian's mother. Uh, we have Jay Christopher and the whole crew that was on part of the um, camera operating. And probably more, so I want to learn all about you guys and ask a bunch of questions. And I did want to say at the beginning of this too, Michael really want to be, wanted to be here this evening, but he is in LA, 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 LA. Yeah. Uh, where all we, where all of us want to be. So um, he's in a lot of meetings and um, working on more projects, which is awesome for him. But he wanted to say thank you so much for coming this evening and um, great job toward him. Uh, I'd like just for everyone to introduce themselves and then we'll get started with all the questions that anyone out there has. I'm Sam Ogletree. I was a camera PA. Uh, David Weisman, Best Boy Electric. Uh, Tim Ryan, the gaffer, isn't here. He just started a new show, and they're in Griffin, Georgia, so couldn't make it. David also um, almost electrocuted the actors. <laughs> with, uh, uh, but we're not allowed to talk about that because of legal stipulations. So don't ask any questions about David. Almost. Can we talk about the uh, the toe flat? Or David also almost killed a couple of crew members by not chalking the um, toe plant uh, generator. But we're not allowed to talk about that because of a pending lawsuit. Um, <laughs> David also broke the garage that was the homeowners that we were staying in. But we're not allowed to talk about that because of a pending production insurance claim. Um, Who are you? Who are you? Oh, I'm Chris. Uh, I did some camera stuff for this movie, and Siddharth um, Candidnetti is also here, and he should totally come up here, because Sid uh, was our full-time camera operator and also our second unit DP, and he's also the second tallest person next to me on the crew, and the tallest Indian that we have. Uh, so. No, Michael's hard, like, you know, don't, don't take Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm Jason Stasher, and I was a key grip, and I hate scaffolding. Victoria <laughs> Spencer Smith, and I played Killian's mom, and I liked everything. That was great. It's a great movie. This is my first time seeing it. It's great, guys. Thank you. So hard to see when we're up on your can't see past like the third row. Um, does anyone have any questions for any of the crew members, the cast, any of the shots, any of the acting, any of the makeup, any of the uh, horror stories or successful stories on set? Yes, right over here. Being that Michael Barman is currently in Los Angeles doing Los Angeles things um, with Los Angeles people and stuff that's really cool and forward and moving in LA, um, I will answer that on his behalf. They were not feral cats. <laughs> Next question. Alan, I know you had one about the shots. <laughs> what? your own experience? Um, yeah, so a lot of you, I'm sure, saw the helicopter footage at the beginning, um, which made it feel like a big movie. Um, that was uh, me and Sid taking turns sitting in a helicopter in the freezing cold with a red, like, on our lap, uh, held down handheld to a burning pad. Inside uh, <laughs> with enough of our extremities hanging out to uh, freeze them. Um, because we did actually hire a drone, and we were going to, this was early in the drone years, um, uh, which is similar to the drone wars. Uh, and we had a drone with an epic on it, and the owner of said drone in, in Branson, Missouri, was um, a little bit apprehensive of taking his drone over the river at sunrise, which was the first shot that they wanted to do that morning. 
which was the shot coming over the river that came up over the trestle bridge and revealed the school bus. Um, it was beautiful, and there was mist all over the water, and it was like sex on film. Um, but he refused to do it after a couple of attempts, and it failed miserably because he kept thinking his drone was going to take a dump in the river with Sid's epic on it. Um, so we had to like hunt the whole idea, and we had, and we hired a helicopter tour company to come pick us up in the gravel parking lot where we already were trying to shoot this, and they picked us up and drove us around for like two hours for like seven hundred bucks or something, super Branson price, um, in the off season, and yeah, so no drone for us. It was a real helicopter, and Sid and I hanging out of it. Say. Any other questions? Yes. Tell me about the uh, the actual schoolhouse set. How high is that off the ground? How logistically large is it? I'll answer the first question. I'll let some of these guys answer the latter, um, especially Jason when it comes to the scaffolding. Uh, he's a big fan. Um, so our idea in pre production is that we have three tree houses. One that built in a nice warm sound stage that we would shoot on. It was really comfortable and walls could remove and all that stuff. That would never happen. Um, and the other two was one was a miniature, which actually did happen. It was like a six foot by eight foot miniature that we put like 30 feet up into a tree and tried to make it look like it was 60 feet up in a tree. And that one was completely like false everything and we could never shoot inside of it or whatever. And the one that we shot all of the footage in was um, ground level on one side and about 14 feet off the ground on the other side and that downhill gully like you know the, the, the treehouse was built out like this and it looked out over a gully so that it felt it looked a lot higher than it actually was as Jason could probably tell you. Well just in case you missed it before I do hate scaffolding now. We did have a, uh, a little bit of an issue with that on, on our site. We had a nice drop off on the, on the hill right next to where the treehouse was. And we built some of the scaffolding over there, but we didn't have the bottom parts to it. So we had to build that on a speed rail. For the record, our scaffolding was provided by our um, assembly editor. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> so we ended up having to uh, dig holes, stick some wood in the holes, and uh, use speed rail to build the base of our scaffolding. And I think we were what, three high for uh, I think we were about three high uh, levels of scaffolding, and we had what? What was it on there, David? So yeah, uh, you know what? I, I'm not trying to boast, but I think one of the strongest aspects of this film is the lighting. And uh, when it's two scaffolding on either side, <laughs> disclaimer: he works in the lighting department. <laughs> so, uh, so we had uh, on one side was a six k par, and the other was a twelve k par. You know, uh, two pretty punchy lights, and uh, yeah, it was doing this was a real challenge. And all props to this guy. This guy. Uh, you know, more than anything, made this movie look fucking fantastic. Like, I drank more beer on this show than any other. Yeah, like we had copious amounts of alcohol were consumed by this at the the thirty person house that we stayed at. It this guy made this movie happen. Yeah, and did you see how many grips this movie consumed? There's like twelve additional grips. Four electricians. Twelve grips. I mean, come on. But yeah. Yeah. Give it for Jason. Everyone. I know that we have to um, wrap this up shortly, but I just wanted to ask um, Chris. He is working on some recent pro projects with Michael, um, upcoming things, and if you just wanted to kind of go over that with them, and also um, any. The information on the film that you guys shot. I know I was interested in 
how long the shooting took place. It was five weeks um, that I found out in Missouri. And a pickup, like, months and months after, I don't, never even noticed watching this movie the first time and had to go back and be like, what? That was, like, seven months after? And it, you can't even tell. So you guys did a wonderful job with, like, covering that up. I was really impressed with the film. Um, and any kind of just information that you want. My question to Michael after I saw it was, is there a sequel? Like, I didn't see the other guy die, so are you going to make another one? And, like, other people are going to be involved? No, there's not a sequel. But there are upcoming projects, if you want to give us a heads up on that. Yeah, well, I think Any Cool News covered the anti-climax fairly well in their <laughs> review of this movie. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it, no, there won't be a sequel of Treehouse. But uh, Michael and I are working on another project currently called uh, The Wanderer. And it's um, an Alchemy Set production, which Alchemy Set is uh, of an Atlanta based production company. Um, Justin Miller is here. He's, uh, uh, he and I make up half of Alchemy Set. Um, but uh, it's uh, a science fiction anthology that takes place in a futuristic world where the sun has um, decoupled from. Or where the Earth has decoupled from the sun, and all of Earth's civilization has been forced to move underground. And it's going to be pretty cool. Dave Bruckner is doing one of the segments. Um, Tom Van Evermitt is doing one of the segments, who was uh, 2015 um, Academy Award uh, Best Short Film nominee. Um, Dan Bush is doing one of the segments. Michael Bartlett is doing one of the segments. And Justin is directing one of the segments. So stay tuned for that one. Exciting. The two of you definitely make movie magic and add more to it. I've heard wonderful things about Sid and um, Justin and things like that at our meeting before. But I was blown away, like I said, at this movie. I'm so glad that all of you were able to make it tonight to watch it with us. Let's give a round of applause to Michael and here in the cast and crew that are standing on stage with me right now. If you also want to see more from Atlanta based film, uh, go see Good Grief Suicide Hotline. It's oh, yeah. the 20. 23rd, 9.30, right here. Amazing. Best movie I've ever worked on, aside from this one. <laughs> on Redbox, on March, 9, or March 10th, on Redbox, Treehouse is going to be on and available for people to rent. So if you enjoyed the movie, please shout them out. Have your friends, your family, everyone on social media go and rent the movie so that they can see it too. It's a really, really great movie, as you can tell. Thank you guys so much. I'm sorry? A launch party? Oh, I'm always down for a party. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.